I'm out. Man, I just wanted to say RIP to rap the news, man. One of the greatest teachers ever. And to GMS, man, fuck y'all, man. Y'all ain't nobody, man. Y'all a bunch of fake, false profit faggots, man. GMS, uh, Bible teacher seven, you are a damn coward. You're a coward. And you just a Christian punk that just joined GMS because you can't even think for your damn self. What I've learned from Rap the News, and I've been in plenty of danger teaching that truth. People are threatening to kill me out there in the street. And I. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. And as you can see, everything is turning up. Everything is turning up. Not just these prophecies, but these scoffers, judgment, you know, um, hatred, and the love for the brotherhood, all of that is turning up, man. In these times of, um, of uh, slander and people coming up against us, we're not to be dismayed at these things. We're not to be shaken by these things. We're to co continue on to the path because these are nothing more than the spirits uh, that killed the prophets coming back in their lot. Spirits that persecuted the prophets coming back in their lot, you know, and they might not believe that. But even going back to the time of Yahweh Shai, when Yahweh Shai told them that they were the children of the, of the that killed the prophets coming back, they didn't believe him either. You see? So no one wants to believe that that's their lot, but clearly we can see that they have a spiritual hatred for us. It's not a, a regular hatred. It's a spiritual hatred. All right. So let's get Matthews, the 23rd chapter. And I'll start at the 27th verse. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto white, whited sepulchres which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of, of all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Okay, so they, they focus on the outward appearance. The beard is perfectly trimmed up, you know. They, they speak in a manner that's eloquent. They got the microphones, they got the beautiful garments, you know, they have the, 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 the readers theatrical, you know, but then you have us, we come out just normal, you know, uh, sackcloth, we bring it out straight, the, the reading is not theatrical, you see, but the speaking is pa passionate through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. that's why Paul said, I will not know the speech of them that are puffed up, but the power it's the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's coming through the words. And this is what they don't like. This is what gets them upset. And it says, um, Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers of, with them in the blood of the prophets. You see, so they say that right now in this form and in this body that they're in, they say, no, nah, that, that wouldn't have been us because you're not the prophets. But that's the same thing that those men said to Yahweh Shai. It's the same thing that those wicked men said to Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh Shai could see through the spirit. There was no man on earth more spiritual than Yahweh Shai. So he could see through the spirit to see that those were the same men coming back in the reincarnation, man. But they denied it. Because the Heavenly Father doesn't give us remembrance of the former things. Because if he did that, it would lead to confusion. That's why John the Baptist, he didn't know that he was Elijah, even though they asked him, are you Elijah? He said, no. 
I am one that, that, that crieth out in the wilderness, which was a prophecy that Elijah would fulfill. You see, so through the spirit, he was Elijah, okay? Yahweh Shai even told us that, but he didn't know that he was alive because there's no remembrance of former things. You see? So the same way that he didn't know that, you don't realize that you are actually the, the sons of those men that killed and murdered the prophets, man. It says, Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generations of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell, man? You're gonna be destroyed, man. You see? You're gonna come back in your lot and you're gonna be destroyed. Even back then were they destroyed because Jerusalem was besieged, man. Going into 70 AD. All right? That's why Yahweh Shai said, weep not for me, but weep for your children, man. You see what I'm saying? And yourselves. So, ultimately, the judgment that we're in right now, the judgment that's getting ready to come right now is going to be worse than 70 AD. It's going to be worse than any other time in history. Because we've been through many uh, besieges. We've been through many... Um, uh, uh, many troops coming in like a flood but it's not gonna be on the level that it is coming now so the judgment of these men they don't realize how bad their judgment is gonna be you see they're listening to false prophets telling them all manner of madness that's not in the scriptures and because they're simple they believe it you know but those were the same men that were deceived back then all right it says, Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. And did they not do that? Absolutely they did that, man. Absolutely they did that, 100%. All right? There was none left but John. You know, they even did that to Yahweh Shai himself, which was, which is their salvation, the salvation of the nation of Israel. Hmm. That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation, man. Yeah. And how much more this generation? Where well, Yahweh Shai will be returning. Because he's going to return in this generation, man. He's going to return in this time. We see the signs, right? We see the signs. And the, the Heavenly Father, the, uh, Yahweh Shai spoke about the signs before his coming. And we see all of them coming to pass, man. Right? There's only a couple more um, prophecies left. There's only a few more prophecies left to be fulfilled, man. This is Matthew 23 and 37. It says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thee, gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Let's see. Um, let's get John 3. And we'll start at verse Verse 18. Matter of fact, I'll start at 17. It says, For the Most High set not his Son into the world to condemn the world, which is this world, this world would be cosmos, speaking about the nation of Israel, okay, a separate group. That's what cosmos means, and not oinkamene, which means the whole entire planet Earth, but cosmos. But that the world, the world 
through him might be saved, all right? That the Israelites might be saved. They crucified their own salvation, man. Showing you how wicked these men are, all right? That are amongst our nation. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. So you saying that we were condemning, we condemn rap the news, we condemn these these people who follow him, we condemn whoever else, all right? But that's because they they didn't believe on Yahweh Shai. So it says that he doesn't who doesn't believe on Yahweh Shai is condemned already. So ultimately, we didn't condemn them. They were condemned from the inception because they didn't believe on Yahweh Shai. You see? And it says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. And this is why they hate us. Because we bring forth the light that shine upon their wickedness. And since their deeds are evil, it's a burden unto them, man. So their solution is to get rid of us, man. If they could, they would. <laughs> you know, if they had the power, they would get rid of us, man. You see? It says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest this deed should be reproved. And you know that dude smoking a blunt with the grills in his mouth. Come on, man. You think he's righteous, man? Talking about it, you're, 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 you're calling us um, a bundle of sticks, you know? homos and that's slander man that's slander that's wickedness that's false that's bearing false witness that's that's slander because there's none of that is true <laughs> you know but it's because he doesn't want his deeds to be reproved people people like rap the news can just say all manner of madness and because they're of the same spirit they accept him He's accepted in the world. He can get tens of thousands of views. All you got to do to to get to get money in this world is just make up a, a false doctrine. Just make up any madness, any false doctrine. And you'll get thousands and thousands of followers. And you could ask them for donations. Then they'll donate, man. They'll donate 15% the of their earnings, man. Because their deeds are evil, man. Their deeds are wicked. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in the Most High. And yeah, we're walking towards the light, you know. Matter, of, we're walking towards the light so that we can what see where we're going off, and that we might be reproved, man. Okay. Let me get Isaiah, 60th chapter in the first verse. This is Isaiah 60 and verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the glory is this wisdom and understanding. That's why any questions that they have about this book, we can answer it through the Holy Spirit. Any questions they have about life, we can answer it through the Holy Spirit, okay? You understand? Why? Because it was given unto us by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And there will be no contradictions, only understanding, only light. You see, now they're, they're, they're talking against us. Now they're, they're scoffing. But when that time of judgment comes, they're going to be looking for the light. You see, they're going to be looking. They're going to be searching for the light. The scriptures tell you about that. Let's get, um, let's get Amos 3 and 11. This is Amos 8 and 11. And it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and those same people that you follow, they're going to be destitute. So they're going to be looking for those same words. Since the word is not in them, they're going to need to seek the men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord. This is when this is when pride will be quenched. Okay, this is when pride will be quenched and they're going to need to humble themselves. But in this time is when it's going to be too late. It says, and they shall wonder from sea to sea 
and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh Shem Shai and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. See, they're not going to find it and they're going to faint for thirst. And it's not literal thirst, it's thirst of hearing the words of Yahweh Shem Shai. Thirst for answers. All right? This is what they're going to be lacking. So when you read the scriptures, water, the word is likened unto water. You know, the word is likened unto water. And also wine, because did not the Lord say, drink this wine, it is my blood. And eat this bread, it is my flesh. Meaning what? Since he is the word of the Lord. Right? Since he is the word of the Lord. Symbolically, it's bread and, and wine. Okay? It's, it's, it's doctrine, but it's, it's good wine. See? These people that they're, 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 the wine that they're feeding you, that they're uh, giving you, and the bread that they're giving you is defiled. The wine that we're given and the bread that we're given is pure. All right. This is, and as a matter of fact, it comes from the heavens. This is Isaiah twenty-four and eleven. It says there is a a crying for for wine in the street. For, for, there's a there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Yeah, they're going to be looking for that wine. Because the great confusion is about to befall them. You see? So even those that are against the prophets and that are looking to kill the prophets in this time. Because if they could, they would. If they had the power to, they would. Matter of fact, there's certain brothers that have been put to death based upon this truth. Matter of fact, there's a brother in Trinidad, man. Who's, who's, who was stabbed by one of these wicked, evil, uh, demonic so-called is i'll call them so-called israelites because really they have the spirit of the devil in them man and he's been murdered based upon this truth man not based upon wickedness not based upon uh committing adultery with another man's wife not based upon uh robbing a man not based upon a slander but based upon uh speaking the words of yahweh shimei al-shai proving that we have the truth and that brother is blessed. That brother is immensely blessed in the heavens, waiting to come back with the rest of the brethren, man. You see? But you, but you, you people who that blood is on your hands, maybe not in this lifetime, but in the la the past lifetime, you will have to pay for that, man. You will have to pay for that, man. Let me get Second Chronicles, the twenty fourth chapter, man. And I'll start at the twentieth verse. It says, and the spirit of the Most High came upon Zechariah, the son of Jeho Jehoiada, the, the priest, which stood above the people and said unto them, Thus saith the Most High, Why transgress ye the commandments of Yahweh by Shem Shai, that he cannot prosper? And this is what we're telling you. Why are you going against the Heavenly Father? Right, because you're not gonna, you're not prospering because you're, you're, because you sinned against the Lord. You're under curses because you sinned against the Lord. We say that week in and week out. We tell these people this every day. They give us dirty looks. They, 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 they got a, they have a problem with it, man. Why? Because they're, con they're cut in the spirit. The same thing Zachariah was saying, man. Because ye have forsaken Yahweh by Shem Shai. He hath also forsaken you. And that's scriptural, man. That is scriptural. And they and they conspired against him and stoned him with stones at the commandment of the king in the court of the house of, of the Yahweh Shimei al Shai. Thus Joash the king remembered not the kindness which Joida his father had done to him, but slew his son. See, that nigga was wicked. Joash, he's going to pay, man. That nigga was a wicked demon, man. All right? Because even his, his father, the father of Zacharias, did kindness unto him, man. And when he died, he said, Yahweh, look upon it and, and require it, man. And Joash is probably one of them high up, 
you know, them Israelites on a high level because he was a king back then. So he's probably one of them Israelites on a higher level, you know, who has the same sentiment against the prophets even today, man. Oh, you're false prophets, you're this, you're that. You know? Because what? The, 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 the wicked hate the light lest their deeds should be reproved, man. Right? This is why they kill the prophets. This is why they put the prophets to death. The prophets weren't telling them smooth things. They weren't telling them, oh, you're, you're, you're a royal people every day. No, they weren't telling oh, you're a royal. By the way, you're a royal people. But that's a royal color. Your skin color is royal. They weren't telling that. That, that wasn't the, 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 the sermon. When a prophet came into the city, they, were, they said, have you come to, for peace? They have to ask if they're coming for peace or for, for, for evil. Because, yo, prophets were known to upbraid cities, man. This is um, Hebrews 4, verse 12. It says, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And, they're and, if, we and if us as brethren in this truth have wicked, evil thoughts that we have to constantly rebuke, these men are not rebuking their own thoughts. So imagine the evil and wickedness that's festering in their thoughts. You understand? Imagine the wicked and evil that's festering in their thoughts. And to hear this word cut their spirit, cut their soul. Man. The scriptures speak about the, the infirmities of a man. His spirit can, can, can uphold it, right? But then... A broken spirit who can bear it. They're getting cut in the spirit. But instead of yielding to it, they're trying to fight against it. And they're just becoming more wounded. Right? That's why the scriptures say, because the healing starts with accepting the word. You know? The word is what is what heals you. You know? Right? And the scriptures told it says, right, uh, to Saul, he said to Saul, the Lord said to Saul, why do you kick against the pricks? Right? You're only, you're only hurting yourself coming against this word. You're only hurting yourself coming against the prophets, man. This is Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. See, they would have been healed if they were to hearken unto the words, you know, from those wounds. But they're not going to heal. They're, con they're going to continue to degrade, uh, right, and decay and be more and more destroyed because they hearken not said then said i O oh lord how long and he answered until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate and the lord have removed men far away and there be a great sh forsaken in the midst of the land well basically it's going to be too late you know they're going to they're going to be lost until they're destroyed and there's nothing we can do or anybody can do about it, man. That's just their lot. These men's lots were to be scoffers. These men's lots were to be against the prophets, man. You see, he he, he didn't like Rap the News, right? But something him and Rap the News have in common is that they hate GMS. They can get together and have a, a coffee and talk about how much they hate GMS. You see? These people that follow these different doctrines, these people that come up against us based upon different men, they all have different doctrines. They all believe in different things. Some of them are calling upon Yahweh Shai. Some of them are calling upon uh, the Son of the Heavenly Father, Ahaya. 
which Rap the News did not. And we're just using him. He's the latest example. We're just using him as the latest example. They don't have the same doctrine, but they all agree that they hate Great Millstone. These other camps, they have different doctrines, different mindsets to some, deg to some degree. But they all can agree that Great Millstone is a bum camp. They're, they're, they're the camp that always causes the most trouble. Well, let me ask you this. When did the prophets not cause trouble? When did the, co the, the prophets not cause an uproar in the, plant, in the earth? Isaiah, the 58th chapter. In the first verse, it says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shew my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. All right, and that's all we're doing. All we're doing is showing our people their transgression. All we're doing is showing our people where they have sinned. Okay? We're not doing anything other than that. And they hate us for it, man. They literally hate us for that, man. Okay? It says, um, Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And don't be dismayed at that. Don't be dismayed. The scriptures say, I have made your face hard against their faces. Don't be dismayed at the fact that, that they have that feeling, that feeling of hate and animosity towards you without a, a, without a cause. All right? Because that's their lot. You have to understand that. And that's only going to grow. Animosity and hate. It says that we shall be hated of all men for the name of Yahweh Shai. So there's going to be a, a multitude. It says a, a... Man, let me... Hold on, man. Hold on. Hang on. Let's get it. This is Matthew's the tenth chapter. In verse, in verse twenty-two, it says, "And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved." All right, so we're gonna be hated, man. All right, we will be hated, but when they persecute you in the city, in the city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you. You shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man become. All right. It says, hate to hate, pursue with hatred, detest, to be hated, to, de to be detested, man. Okay. All right. Matter of fact, let's go. Let's go into the to the Wikipedia and see what they what they what they say about the word hate. No, because this is what they have for you, man, and this is what more people are gonna have for you. The times that come. Remember, Esau is coming with great um, propaganda, man. A feel feel intense or passionate dislike. They're passionate about their dislike for us, man. Intense or passionate dislike. You see that that man here in the video that was speaking against rap the news? He was passionate about the dislike for Great Millstone, man. And all we can say is all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai because this only further solidifies that we are the men of the Lord. You know, starting with our apostles and elders on down, man. That we're speaking the words of the Lord, I should say. Lord willing, we make it into the end in our men of the Lord because we are definitely speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because you can see what it's doing to people, man. I've never seen this guy before. i never seen this dude before. I don't know if he's made videos, but a lot of these people are just making videos for the first time to come up against Great Millstone. That's passion. You know, that's passionate hate. You see? This is Second Chronicles 36 and 15. It says, and the Lord power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers rising up betimes, 
sent to sent to them by his messengers, rising up beat times, all right, means diligently, and sending because he had pa compassion on his people and on his dwelling place, right? So this is why he sent us. This is why he sent the prophets. This is why he sent men of the Lord, because what? Because he want, He had compassion. He's having compassion upon his people by leaving, by Yahweh, Yahweh Shai leaving a remnant. That's compassion, all right? That is compassion. Because he could have had us completely and utterly destroyed. All right? It says, but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets. That's why it says uh, 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 the burning wrath of a multitude is kindled against you. All these people are going to be turned against us, man, for the most part. There's going to be people with common sense. You know, but it's going to be a, just like the majority of the people are taking the juice. The majority of people are going to be against the prophets of the Lord, man. Until the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh arose against his people. Till there was no remedy. Right? Yeah. See? Therefore, he brought upon them the king of the Chaldeas who slew their, their young men with the sword in the house of the of their sanctuary. And who's the modern-day Chaldeans and the modern-day um, uh, Babylonians now? These Edomites, all right? And they're going to do the same thing. They're getting ready. Don't you know that a sword is being sharpened? Don't you know a sword is being sharpened and ready for the slaughter of you, you Israelites? And had no compassion upon young men or maiden, old man, or him that stooped for age, he gave them all into his hand. Hey, and that's what's that's what's getting ready to happen. The Lord is going to give all of these, give um, the Edomites, to, uh, give you Israelites over to these Edomites, the ones that are not with Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay, the ones who came against his prophets, and you might say the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai, but it said not everyone that says Lord, Lord. Right? Will he um will he accept? And think about it. You're you're going against his prophets, man. So when that time comes, man, when that sword is sharpened, man. Hmm. Which that sword is already is already ready to be ready to, to go forth, man. You know, they're ready, man. They're moving quick, they're turning up this year, as the apostle said. That this is the year of the turn up. It's, it's turning up. It's absolutely turning up, man. Out here now, you, you need to have the juice to, 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 to get liquor. Starting next next week or the, or the week after. So, hey, that's hey, they're turning up. And, and within no time, it's going to be the grocery stores. And don't think because you're in Babylon and it's not came to you yet that you're, you're safe. It's going to hit Babylon the hardest. Okay? And the fact that those people got guns in the south... Is gonna, they're going to have to go extra hard. You, you heard what they said in Kag Kazakhstan, right? He said that um, that they can, they basically got the green light to put those people to death that protest. The green light, headshot, whatever, whatever, whatever they want to do. And that's what's getting ready to happen all around the earth, especially in the beast system, uh, amongst the beast nations. Excuse me. This is Ezekiel twenty-one and nine. It says, "Son of man." Prophesy and say, thus saith Yahweh Shai, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? You got Israelites having an Israelite party, you know? You have a, a IUIC. I just watched their new moon celebration. Somewhere, some brother sent it on uh, Instagram and that was nothing but a, a whole Israelite party. It's, you know they're not thinking about what's coming. They have no clue about what's coming. They think they're they think this is a, a form of the kingdom. They're trying to create a kingdom in, in, in Egypt. It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. Man. Okay, this is uh, this is Nehemiah nine and verse twenty six. I'll start up at I'll 
start at verse, uh, give me a second. I'll start at verse 25. It says, And they took strong cities and fat land, and a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods, wells digged, vineyards and olive yards, and fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat, and were filled, and became fat. And delighted themselves in in thy great in thy great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee, and cast thy, thy law behind their backs, and slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn them to thee. And that's what we're that's what we're doing. What we're doing when we go out there and we prophesy, we're trying to turn our people to Yahweh Shem Shai. You know how happy we are, how excited how excited we are when a brother uh, listens and he starts to come out every weekend and starts to take notes. That's exciting, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Because we understand that the house of the, the, the house of David is being rebuilt. We understand that the third temple is being rebuilt. So we rejoice at that. You see? But they, they take it as as if we're as if we're, we're completely against them. Which we're against them now because they haven't turned, but we really want them to turn so that we can be with them. So that we can accept them as brethren, man. But we know that that's only going to be for a remnant. All right? The two thirds they got to they got to perish, man. There's brute beast in this in this in this setup. There's brute beast in this setup, man. And they wrought great provo provocations, man. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the land, the hand of their enemies. Who's the enemy now? The Edomites. You're about to be delivered into his hands, man. Who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors, who saved them out of the hands, the hand of their enemies. And But now... The ones that are not accepting the truth, accepting the men of the Lord that, that's coming unto them, they're not going to be saved because there's one Savior that's coming. And that's Yahweh Shai. All right? Back then he gave them prophets to, to, to bring them unto the Lord, which acted as saviors. But now, right? Now that those same saviors that were back then are out here preaching unto you, if you don't accept them in this time, the, the main savior which is Yahweh Shai is not going to deliver you eh? alright but after they had rest they did evil again before thee therefore le left this thou them in the hand of their enemies so that they had the dominion over them yet when they returned and cried unto thee thou heardest them from heaven and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies and, 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 and we're coming to the point now like I said that the final savior is coming, but he's only coming for a remnant. So those of them that rejected the prophets in this time, you're done. All right? You're done. I'll show you what, what you have forward to look for, what you what you can look forward to, man. You that come against the prophets, because you don't realize, you don't, you don't, you don't consider that your deeds are evil. You don't consider it. You don't consider that these can be the men of the Lord. You don't even listen to the words. It's the spirit that say not nah, F these dudes. That's a demon within you, man. This is Jeremiah 37. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right? The remnant is going to be saved out of it, out of Jacob's trouble. The rest of you are going to have to go through Jacob's trouble. Okay? You see? You're going to have to go through Jacob's trouble and be burnt up, man, with the afflictions. This is Jeremiah 2. And um and I'll start at verse 29. It says, Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. In vain have I smitten your children, they receive no correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets. Like a destroying lion, and and that's it. you're not receiving correction, and cor cor correction, and that's why you come up against us. That's why you kill the prophets in a, in your past lives, because you you refuse to receive correction, which would have, which would have healed you. O generation, see ye the word of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Have I been? 
a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore say my people, we are lords, we will come no more unto thee. Man. Man. It says, can a maid forget her ornaments or a pride her attire? Yet my people have, have forgotten me days without number, man. Can, can a bride forget, would a bride forget to put on a wedding dress? Will she forget to put on her wedding dress? Will she forget to put on make, uh, makeup and, and things of that nature for the wedding? Absolutely not. So how can you forget, <laughs> you know, the heavenly Father, a thing which you need more than which which you need more than a bride needs that? Okay, why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked one thy ways, man. You know, and it all has to to do with them fitting in with these other nations. That's why they're not willing to fully accept Yahweh Bashim Shai because they want to fit in in this world. And this world has nothing for you, man. This world has nothing for you. Let's get asked the account of how they killed, they murdered Stephen, man. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read, the, 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 you know, say from the, the 54th verse, man. Actually, yeah, that, that is the whole yeah, I'll read it from the 54th verse. It says, when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart. And they gnashed on him with their teeth, right? Because Stephen was going in. Stephen was going in in the spirit, cutting him in the spirit, man. Instead of them turning, they gnashed. All right? But he being full of the Holy, Sp Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly in heaven and saw the glory of the Most High. And Yahweh standing on the right hand of the Most High and said, Behold, I see heavens, see the heavens opened. And the son of, of, of man standing on the right hand of the Most High. So he's seen the heavenly, the heavenly Father, and he saw, and he saw the, the Yahweh Shai in the Spirit. Then they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and ran upon him with one accord. With right, right. Like I said, they they all have different doctrines, but when it comes to coming up against the men of the Lord, they're in one accord. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at, at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. Was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon the Most High and saying, Lord Yahweh Shai, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge and when he said this he fell asleep you know so hey man even us brethren man we gotta we gotta have somewhat of a merciful spirit to these dudes to a certain level but um but there's, it depends you see it depends it's a case by case basis man it's a case by case basis because you know what um paul he put curses on men he put curses he sent satan on men who were blaspheming man who were coming up against the doctrine. So like I said. In Elisha he put up curses on children. So it's by a case by case basis man. You know. Sometimes we'll be in the spirit like man. Hopefully he repents. But sometimes we'll be in the spirit man. F you man. Okay. And the Lord has put more of a cold spirit. Because we're coming closer to the time of judgment man. You see. So anyways man. With that I think. Uh, the point has been made man. The point has been made. Through the spirit and power of your help. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. And hopefully y'all were edified that say shallow on.